When I first spoke to President Zelensky, I called him the Winston Churchill of our time. That's because there's no greater champion of liberty in the modern era. This leader and the citizens of Ukraine knew something that the rest of the world did not, that the Russians could be beaten. Not with overwhelming firepower or waves of troops, but with character, heart, and faith. President Zelensky represents the very best of the Ukrainian spirit, a determination, strength, and resolve in the face of aggression. And we must stand in solidarity with the people of Ukraine and support their fight. Everyone who believes in liberty must see that this is not just their fight, it is our fight. Today, Ukraine is the front line of freedom globally. In response to the brutal Russian aggression, Ukrainians, together with their president, just adopted a very American motto, give me liberty or give me death. We're gathered today to celebrate that courage, which we're seeing every day in the Ukrainian people, men and women, soldiers and civilians who are laying down their lives for the defense of liberty. And we're here to celebrate the courage of the Ukrainian people's democratically elected leader, President Zelensky. Dear friends, it is a great honor to be awarded with the Medal of Liberty presented to me by Senators Chris Kunz and Rob Portman during their visit to Kyiv. This award really demonstrates how and what Ukrainian people are fighting for. Liberty is the main word for us and what really unites all Ukrainians. As in any democratic society, Ukrainians have different views on life and politics, as the case was in previous years. We felt divided, arguing whether we would ever be able to stand together. But when Russia decided to destroy our freedom and wipe Ukraine off the face of the earth, we immediately got united and we keep this unity. All divisions are put aside. There is no place for political conflicts because when there is a mortal threat to freedom, everything else is not important. 